Hi again, my friends. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I hope you guys are staying healthy. And I'm so excited to be back again for another lesson with social emotional learning. So this week's lesson is how to handle waiting. What does that mean, handling waiting? Well, if you don't know, you will know by the end of today's lesson because that is what we are going over. So before we get started, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you guys remember listening to the song in last lesson about calming down? I bet some of you remember, some of you don't, and that's okay. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and play that song again on calming down just to refresh your guys' minds. Because remember, when we're calming down, we need to take <clears throat> deep breaths and let out our air, hands on our bellies. Okay, so do some of you guys remember that? Okay, I'm seeing some hands go up. Good job, you guys. So I am going to put on our favorite song on calming down. So go ahead and get comfy and pay attention, friends. I need some robot poses. You guys give me a robot pose? How about you? Good. Ready for some music? Yeah. Pop, your feeling brain takes hold and you could flip your lid. Stop, you've got to think it through. Just calm it down like this. Stop and name your feeling calm down. 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 Feeling calm down. Every day we can have strong feelings, strong emotions that send us reeling. But there are steps we can take to calm down. These are the keys to turn things around. Just stop and name your feeling. Turn on your brain, start thinking, not just feeling. Calm it down, do some breathing. Calm it down, and some counting. One, two, three, four. Calm it down, use self talk. I can do it, I can do it. And keep thinking. Stop. Name what you're feeling now and take some belly breaths. Say good things it. to I yourself. Do it. Count One, and calm two, the three, feeling four. down. Stop and name your feeling calm 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 down. Feeling calm down. Say someone bumps you and you drop your stuff. You can't think clearly, you're feeling rough. Just say stop. stop, name what you're feeling Take back your powder, throw it at the ceiling Stop, name what you're feeling now And take some belly breaths Say good things it. to I yourself Count and calm the feeling down Stop, and name your feeling calm 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 down So who remembered the calming down song? Now I see everyone's hands. Good job. Yes. I just wanted to refresh you guys a little bit because I knew you guys remember, but sometimes our mind just need a little refreshment. So by those steps of calming down, those same steps of hands on our belly and breathing will help us managing how to wait. Okay, and that could be for anything, waiting in line, being the next person to go on the playground, or maybe waiting because you are going on a really fun trip after school. There's all different types of waiting. So I have a game for you guys that's gonna practice learning how to wait, okay? So it is called Wait or Freeze. So I'm sure some of you guys have played like maybe Simon Says. It's kind of like that, but this one's called Wait and Freeze. So I want you guys to go ahead and stand up. Okay, so I am going to let you guys dance it out. You guys can dance whatever way you guys may feel like dancing. And then I'm going to say freeze. And when I say freeze, you have to stop whatever you are doing. So if your hands are up in the air like this, 
you have to wait. Or if you had one leg up because you were doing some cool dance move, you have to wait like that, okay? Until I say, go. Okay, so are we ready to play? All right, let's get started. So go ahead and dance. Okay, I should see everyone moving and dancing. Freeze. Good job, stay frozen, stay frozen. I have not let you guys unfreeze yet. Unfreeze, keep on dancing, friends. I see everyone moving. You guys are doing so amazing at you guys' is dancing. Okay, freeze. Good job, you guys. Stay frozen, I didn't say. Okay, unfreeze yourself. Good job. I want to give you guys a round of applause. You guys did amazing on listening when to start dancing and when to freeze. So now that you guys have played the game, I want to ask you guys, what made you guys successful while playing this game? How did you know when to freeze and unfreeze? So go ahead and think about it and I'm gonna have you guys share with me, okay? Think, 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 think. What made you guys successful while playing this game? Okay, go ahead and share. Yeah, good job, you guys, because you guys had to use self-talk. You guys had to tell yourself, okay, Miss Thompson said to freeze. I have to wait. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Yep, and you guys were concentrating and breathing. And using self-talk and those ears were listening. Good job. Those are all amazing strategies on helping us learn how to wait. Because you guys had to wait until I said unfreeze to keep on dancing. Good job, you guys. So go ahead and have a seat and we will get started. Okay, friends. So I have two of our friends that we have not seen in a while. We have Puppy today and we have Snail. So today, Puppy is feeling all types of feelings. He is impatient and he is having a hard time waiting, okay? So we are gonna see what happened today with Puppy and Snail and how Puppy was able to calm himself and how Snail was able to help him. Are you guys ready to hear what happened with between Puppy and Snail? All right. So, at lunch, Puppy and Snail were waiting in line to get their lunch. Snail was in front of Puppy, so Puppy was behind Snail waiting. Well, Puppy was hungry. He had eaten all day, so he was jumping around, trying to cut Snail in line, couldn't sit still. So Snail finally said, Puppy, what is wrong with you? Why can you not sit still? Snail, I'm just so hungry, I can't even wait any longer to eat my lunch. Well, puppy, we have to try and wait. You need to put your hands on your belly, you need to breathe in and out, and you need to tell yourself what type of feeling you are feeling. So, puppy listened to Snail, he put his paws on his tummy, he was breathing in and out. <sighs> And Puppy said, I'm feeling impatient because I'm hungry, but I will tell myself I can wait and I can be patient and wait for my food. So while they sat in line, the snail was facing forward. Puppy was still behind snail, hands on his belly still and telling himself, I can be patient. I can wait. I will wait my turn to get my lunch. And by using self-talk and putting his hands on his belly and being able to identify how Puppy was feeling, he was able to calm himself down. Because first of all, if we don't know how we're feeling, how do we fix the feeling? So that's why it is so important to first realize what type of feeling we are feeling while we are waiting. 
puppy was anxious, he was impatient, he couldn't sit still. But he used self-talk and the breathing techniques to calm himself down and he was able to wait in line patiently. So now that we've watched Puppy calm down, now it is time for story and discussion. So in the photo beside me, I have my friend Lucy. By looking at the photo, what can you guys tell about Lucy? What is going on in the photo? I want you guys to look at it for a few seconds and then I'll go ahead and ask. So go ahead and look at Lucy and what is she doing or what is she not doing? Okay, go ahead and share. What can you guys tell about Lucy? Yes, good job, friends. She is, looks like she's dancing, first of all, right? And she's just doing her own thing. So that tells us that she is doing something she is not supposed to be doing. Well, her class is about to go out to recess and they are supposed to be standing in a straight line and they are supposed to be quiet and they are supposed to be waiting patiently to go to recess. But Lucy is clearly not waiting patiently. It looks like she's dancing around because she just doesn't know how to wait patiently, right? So what should Lucy do first? Okay, well, she's not in line and she looks like she's having a certain type of feeling. First of all, what type of feeling do you think she is feeling? Yeah, happy and excited. So now that we know that Lucy's feeling that way, she has to stop, freeze what she is doing and identify her type of feeling. So she has to realize that she is excited. She needs to put her hands on her belly and she needs to say, hey Lucy, I am feeling excited about recess, but I need to calm down handle my excitement and this type of feeling and I need to take deep breaths to relax myself. So she would take her breaths and tell herself over and over, Lucy, you cannot be excited. Well, you can be excited, but you have to contain it, remember? So she would say, okay, I need to calm my excitement, stand in line quietly and wait and just repeat herself because this is how she is going to handle herself on waiting to go to recess and sometimes it might take longer than we expect we might have to tell ourselves over and over what we need to be doing and that's okay too so yes Lucy was out of the line, super excited for recess, and she had to use her self-talk, her calming down method, which is hands on your belly, taking your deep breaths, and telling yourself how to control your feelings on what is happening in that moment. Because remember, if we do all these things, we are able to handle our feelings. So. I bet Lucy got back in that line and waited quietly to go out to recess. So now it's your guys' turn to think and share. You guys are gonna be thinking about a time where you guys had to handle how to wait. You guys may have, may have felt excited, anxious, angry, any type of feeling. But I want to hear about what the type of feeling was and how you guys were able to help yourselves wait until that moment came. And remember, the moment could be anything. It could be going out to recess. It could be going on a trip, going to a friend's house. It could be anything. So I want you guys to put your thinking caps on and I'm going to put on my timer and then you guys are going to share. Okay, so think, think, think. Here comes my timer. Alright guys, 
so you guys had some time to think and now it is your time to share go ahead and share job you guys I heard so many amazing stories and there were different ways on how to handle your excitement a lot of it was excitement because you guys were maybe going on a trip or going to someone's house and I heard some stories where your parents maybe drew like a poster board for you I think it was and you guys had to maybe count off the days and that helped you contain your excitement too so there's many different ways on handling on how to wait for a special moment and you guys have already done amazing because you guys shared stories with me on how you guys handled how to wait and that was even before you guys had this lesson so that tells me you guys will always know how to handle yourselves when it comes to waiting for something so you guys did a fantastic job again you guys always do so amazing so i hope you guys continue to practice these skills and share them with others as well and i will see you guys again next week bye everyone